Hello and welcome to Caveo Bite Size Learnings. Today we're talking about configuring a source with our Google Drive for Work connector to allow you to index your intranet content. This connector is available in Caveo Cloud V2 in both Enterprise and Pro editions. Caveo Bite Size Learnings are as short as they are sweet, so let's get started. As we've seen before, adding a new source is easy. Once you're logged in and on the Sources page of the Coveo Cloud V2 console, just click on Add Source and then choose the Drive for Work connector. Once we've chosen that option, as with other sources, we give it a name and then we provide the Google Apps domain we are building this for. In this example, we have a client, Bob, who runs a company called allofyourstuff.online. They store most of their own stuff in Google Drive, so they want to be able to index it. Bob is the primary G Suite administrator, so we can set his email in the Google Apps Administrator account email field. At this point, we have to ask Bob to set us up with a crawling account. We can see that he is logged into the Google Apps Admin Console, and we're going to ask him to start this process by logging into the Google Developer Console as well. A link for documentation which includes the URLs of these consoles, as well as the steps we are describing, will be provided in this video's description text. Once logged into the Developer Console, Bob will want to create a new project which will be associated with his domain. If it is your first time creating a project, you would have to fill out some additional form items, including accepting terms and conditions and choosing whether to receive email notifications. Since this isn't Bob's first project, he can just name it and click Create. He'll click on APIs in the upper left corner to get the API library. When you do this, please make sure that the name of your new project is selected in the dropdown in the top navigation bar. We can see Bob has Coveo Crawling selected, so he can continue. The next thing Bob will want to do is enable the Drive API and the Admin SDK within the G Suite APIs. He'll start with the Drive API by clicking on it, choosing Enable, then hitting the left arrow to go back, and doing the same for the Admin SDK. Once he's done that, Bob can click on Credentials in the left-hand navigation bar and create the crawl account we need by clicking on the Create Credentials drop-down in the center of the screen and choosing Service Account Key. In the Create menu, Bob will choose the option for a new service account, name that account, and select a role of Service Accounts, then drill down to Service Account Admin. Coveo requires P12 key files, so choose that as Bob is, note the password provided, and download your private key. This will be necessary for your source configuration. From here, we'll follow as Bob enables G Suite domain-wide delegation to this account. He'll click on Manage Service Accounts, choose the triple dot menu for the account he created, and click Next. After that, he'll check the box for delegation, enter a name for the consent screen, and click Save. We're almost there. Now, Bob just has to enable some permissions in the Google Apps Admin Console, the first thing he'll do is click on Apps and choose G Suite and verify that Drive for Docs is on for everyone. If not, he can change it here. Next, he'll have to go into the security settings, which are within the More Controls menu at the bottom of the screen. Once you're in security, choose Show More, then Advanced Settings, as Bob is doing here, then click Manage API Client Access. Here, Bob will need to get the client ID from the crawl account he has just created by going back into the Developer Console and choosing the option to view that client. The client ID is the large numeric identifier at the top. We copy and paste that into the client name field and then assign the access we need, comma delineated, into the API scopes. Again, the details of this are documented in a link provided in the description of this video. Bob clicks Authorize and he's good to go. Back in the Coveo Cloud V2 console, we just need to finish up our configurations. We'll start by entering the service account email that Bob would have copied and forwarded to us and importing the P12 file that he would have forwarded as well. And we're down to the last few steps. For security, we can choose Secured, which means that Coveo will index the permissions provided by Google Drive for Work and will use those to determine who sees what. If we want to make all documents available to anyone who has access to our search page, we can choose Shared instead. We will leave this as Secured for now. If we want to limit the content we indexed based on user identity, we can do so in the Users to Include menu. We'll go ahead and leave it at the default of All Users for now. There is also an option to include additional content such as trashed items and custom properties. Custom properties are metadata which may be associated with your documents based on custom G Suite applications. Since this can increase indexing time, we do not recommend using this option unless it is absolutely necessary. 
I'll leave it turned off here. Finally, we'll click Add and Build, and within a few minutes, compressed here into a few seconds, we'll see our content has been indexed and we can verify it by going to our content browser. Since I've been doing this in the role of a Coveo admin rather than using Bob's Coveo login, all I can see is his user profile. However, since I am an admin, I can go to the More Options triple dot menu, select Preferences, and check the option for View All Content. Once I do that, I can see all of the documents that Bob and his organization have uploaded into the allofyourstuff.online Google Drive for work. Thank you for watching this edition of Coveo Bite Size Learning. Please share this video with your team and subscribe to the Coveo Insights YouTube channel and our e-learning playlist in order to learn more about keeping your business relevant. For more in-depth training courses, please visit www.coveo.com training.